Hello everyone, it's Red Herring, and in this video I'm going to be giving you some detailed information about the iWell Cup. Um, I did put out a couple videos, but they were more of my personal experience with the cup, and so I did want to go over information or details about this cup, as well as uh, some instruction and demonstration on how the teat on this funnel style menstrual cup works. If you find something helpful in this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks! You can find this cup on Alibaba and AliExpress for a cheaper cost, uh, but I did choose to purchase mine on Amazon. Uh, for $19.99 and I chose to go this route because I didn't want to wait the unknown amount of time it was going to take for it to be shipped to me here in the United States. Um, I did see that somebody uh, posted that it is found on eBay and I didn't check it for myself. I don't know how much uh, it costs there. This cup does come out of China. It's manufactured in China and the sites and listings say that it is made out of medical grade silicone, but I didn't do any kind of uh, digging around to see if it really was medical grade silicone, so please use it at your own risk. Um, I'm, I'm leaning toward that it's most likely a food grade silicone. Uh, but the make of it is still really nice and um, it doesn't look cheaply made or feel cheaply made. Just please pay attention to your body when you're using a, an, uh, or a cup that has um, unknown materials. Um, maybe it's food grade, maybe it's a lesser grade, but just um, pay attention. Make sure to note if you have any uh, undesirable sensations like um, burning or tingling or itchiness, um, anything out of the ordinary that you would get if you are using a well-known um, medical grade silicone cup. Here is the cup length in millimeters. And that's from the rim to the top of the stem, or the end of the stem here, and in inches. And then the diameter of the outside of this top rim here in milli millimeters. and in inches. However, that is not the widest part of the cup. Uh, down here at this rim is the widest, so I'm going to go ahead and measure that for you. In millimeters. And also in inches. I did not do a capacity test on this cup since that's not how this cup works. That's not how any of this works. Uh, but there are measuring lines on the inside here and it says 10, 15 which is behind this secondary rim and then 20 milliliters. If you do want the full capacity, um, go ahead and leave me the comment or leave me a comment below and I'll go and uh, do a capacity test with my syringes. Um, but it, you know, like I said, it's not supposed to work like that. You're supposed to be able to just empty it or, or um, drain it while it's inserted. So you really wouldn't see how high the, the capacity was uh, while it was inserted. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go right into the rims. And I did, I, w I was talking to one of my Facebook buddies, Q. Um, and she asked about the rim up on top if it was invisible and at first I didn't even notice but there is a rim on the inside of this cup and I'm just I'm going to insert my finger and kind of pull my finger back and you can see that my nail is getting stopped right there or hooked. Sorry, there's a school bus. <laughs> 
Um, so there is a rim on the outside. It's not on the outside. My nail just kind of goes right over that. Um, and this silicone is thick to begin with. The parts that don't have like a double lining for that, that rim. And uh, I really can't get a good shot of that because this top ring here does have that rim um, and then you can't see the thickness of this silicone. I don't think you can even if I used my nails here. No, I can't. Sorry. Um, and then there's this secondary rim here and it is quite high off of the cup but it is a, a nice rounded design so hopefully those just kind of glide in and over and you don't have any kind of sensitivities with that and since I'm rolling it right on the seam I do want to mention that there is a seam here and it goes one side of the cup up and over to the other side and then there is also a seam that runs around the outside of this the top here and, and I did wipe it washed it and then wiped it with a, a paper towel but it's still got a lot of lint um, so you can just barely see this seam right here and those aren't really raised a whole bunch I can just barely feel, feel them with my fingertips and let's see if I can show you an edge and I'm looking at this point right here where the seam is and it's not really sticking out too much you can't really see a lip against the dark of my finger so the seams aren't very high hopefully um, people that uh, are sensitive don't have any problems with that there are three grip rings at the bottom of this cup and those are raised not too bad but they are rounded as well this top one kind of uh, is squared off just a little bit from where the the funnel area meets the cup of the bowl or the bowl of the cup excuse me uh, but again it's kind of tapered till it gets to that grip ring and then the grip ring so it it is um, pretty high off of the cup but they're rounded so hopefully those don't give you problems either the other marking that's on the outside of this cup are the little guide dots and you can see one right there and one right at the bottom and those are the dots that you will be um, looking for with your fingertips when you're going to empty your cup so um, I will demonstrate with some water um, how these work because if you press anywhere else on this cup or on in this area and not on the the dots the liquids will not come through the teeth so one more marking that's on the cup is their name here which is Iwo it's AI and then two hearts and there's um, an R for registered I can't really tell what that is right there let me see it's just a dot there's a dot after the two hearts there oh if I put my fingers behind it you can see it better and then a line under that these are on the inside of the cup as well as the um, measurement measurement markings and they're really really shallow uh, markings so your clots your strings nothing should really get stuck in them um, these are raised these markings are raised and this marking is like engraved into the silicone so it's not sticking out it's going into the silicone this cup is really snappy like I showed it just wants to open um, but it's not really firm uh, it has a good squishiness to it it's got a good substance because that that silicone is a thicker silicone than a lot of my other cups um, but when you get past this um, last grip ring the third one here this area of the cup this clear area to that um, stopper the teat stopper is nice and flexible so you can see my nail just barely touching it 
caves that in. And here I'm flexing it in all directions, it has a good stretchiness to it, but it doesn't continue to stretch. So it stops about there, and then it has some resistance. So this is bendy and smushy. Uh, you can twist it, and by twisting it, it doesn't open up this teat. Like I said, the only way that this funnel or this teat will open is if you push on these two dots. And I'm bringing this close up so that you can see this is a side view of them separating. And let's see if you can see it from the inside of this cup. Focus on the inside. Oh well, I think that's the clearest shot I'm going to get. And then I'll open it from this side. And I wish it wouldn't uh, focus on the outside of the cup here. Let me see if I could get a better. So here, there's a dot here and a dot down here. And there it is while it's opening. And if I turn it and I push, it doesn't open. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get a cup of water and fill this cup up so that you can see me turning uh, this this stem and bending it over and then um, demonstrating how to open up the teats for the water to come out. So I'll be right back. Here's my Iwo cup with some water in it. I didn't fill it all the way up because I'm looking through my camera and I don't want to dump it out while um, it's off camera. So like this, I don't want to, I don't want it to over go over and then dump out all over the place. So. Um, I didn't fill it all the way up and please excuse all of the noise. I do live across the street from a junior high school and my front door faces their front door. So the activity buses are here and the kids are waiting for their after school activities to be done. Anyhow, um, so here is the stem with water in it and this is how I folded it over and tucked it behind my pubic bone. So it's not leaking doing that. Um, and if I pinch on it, it doesn't leak. And let's see. So my dots now are on each side. One is on that side and one is on this side. And I'm going to pinch this a few times uh, just to show if it leaks. So nothing, nothing now. Okay, and here is one dot and the other dot is in the back and I'm going to go ahead and squeeze those now. And there's the water going through. And it's all empty. All right, uh, this is a different day because my husband did come home yesterday and so I had to stop filming. And um, you can see that I already did this test but my camera battery died. So uh, anyhow, look away my vegan friends. I did sacrifice an egg to do this part of the experiment. I did bust the yolk inside of this cup, um, but I didn't mix it together, like I didn't scramble it or anything. So there's egg yolk and egg whites, and I added a little bit of water to get the different consistencies that you might have during your period. So I'm going to pour it in here, and hopefully there's still some chunks. There should be, since, like I said, I didn't scramble this, um, just to see it... <laughs> see it coming down the funnel and out through the spout. Sorry, I kind of just dumped it in there and I, I was trying to look through my little camera screen. Anyhow, so I'm going to make a mess here and spill it all over the place and I'm looking for the dots. So here we go. Looks like I just hit some of the egg whites and there it's just kind of dripping out 
And I did say um, that my daughter had heavy clotting, and I only had some clotting, but um, it didn't actually stop the flow, it just kind of slowed it down. I hope I can get this on camera okay. And my cup is empty. I have a little bit more. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Someone with a heavy period would probably want to pass this cup up. If you couldn't empty it often enough, this cup doesn't have a whole bunch of capacity. It equals probably the same as one of the smaller cups on the market or a small size of any of the cups that are on the market. So you'll be emptying this cup quite often. However, this cup would be nice for somebody that doesn't have a whole bunch of time. You can go in the bathroom. Instead of removing it, just um, dump it out or not dump it out, but uh, bear it down and, and squeeze on that uh, funnel to empty it and then just put the funnel back up or tuck it in like I did. Um, you don't have to take it out and rinse it or wash it for those of you that do rinse your cup out before you reinsert it. I know that there's some that just take their cup out, dump it out, um, and reinsert it or wipe it with a toilet paper or a wet wipe. But um, I would suggest even if you do leave this cup inserted and you use the funnel as it's intended, to bring a wet wipe while you um, go to empty this cup because the blood can gather in this little um, upside down V area right here underneath where the um, teeth separate um, and you don't want to have that blood drip onto your underwear. Um, uh oh, I lost focus. There we go. Um, and so I would still try to wipe that out. Uh, another thing I want to say is when you're cleaning this out, I could get my pinky inside of this area when I'm cleaning the cup. If I have soap in there, my finger just slides right in and I could rub all this area. But just be careful that you don't um, damage the, the teat part where it re opens and releases because if you damage that, uh, your blood will be able to drip through it. So just be careful when you're cleaning it. I would use maybe a dental brush or something. Um, same goes for this side. I could insert my pinky into this area when there's soap on it. Um, there's resistance now. I mean, it's kind of, it, it's a grippy silicone when I pinch and pull on it. Um, so when I insert my finger, I have to put basically lube on it to clean that, but I do have normally longer nails and I don't want to damage that area um, or this cup would be useless. So in the end, um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool concept, um, but for me, I think it's just faster if I remove my cup and dump it out and reinsert it. 
I wish that I could find a cup like this that doesn't have this type of a funnel stem. I really like the silicone on this, even though it's likely to be a food grade. If they could make a medical grade silicone, which I'm comfortable with using, um, in this resistance, this gummy feeling, the way that this pops open, um, I think I would really, really like that cup. It, it, well, it would have to have some capacity to it, too, because this is a small, um, or not that this is a small, but this is a small cup, um, and it only comes in this one size. So uh, I, I think I would really like a cup um, like this minus the funnel. So if you have any additional questions, if I missed something or if I didn't cover a part that, you know, people have been asking about, uh, please leave me a comment below or you can find me on Facebook and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I did leave the, the link to where I got this cup, which was Amazon, in the description below if you want to see any of the information that they were um, offering. And that's about it. So until I see you next time, take care.